right, thank you, Steve. Authorities in Chester County are looking for the people who shot and killed a teenager during a home invasion. It happened late Sunday night in North Coventry Township. David Doyle Jr. says his 17-year-old son, David Doyle III, was killed when three armed robbers burst into their apartment. Doyle Jr. tells us that he believes the robbers targeted the apartment because they thought he had money. Investigators say the shooting wasn't random, but they aren't releasing many details. Hey, I just, I seen David jump up and he just wrestled with the guy and then the next thing I know, it's like, I seen a flash and pop. And I heard myself, I North Coventry police are asking anyone with information about the shooting to contact them. North Korea is calling one of President Trump's tweets a declaration of war. Trump wrote that leader Kim Jong-un won't be around much longer. Foreign Minister Ri Yong-ho said the tweet gives the country every right under the UN Charter to take countermeasures. Gusty winds in Anaheim, California are not helping firefighters put out the raging canyon fire. Look at this video. More than a thousand people are under a mandatory evacuation order. The fire had grown to 2,000 acres on Monday and was only 5% contained. Firefighters continued to battle the blaze well into the night. No injuries were reported, but officials say at least one structure and a semi-trailer truck were damaged. The cause of the fire is under investigation. All right, let's find out if this heat wave is over. We hope so, although, I don't know, hanging on to summer for a little longer, Matt, <laughs> is it really the worst thing in the world? It's not the worst thing in the world, and yes, the heat wave is over. Uh, Unless we get to 90 today again, mm -hmm. that would be four consecutive days, but our forecast at high is in the upper 80s. The playground at Ramos Elementary School in Allentown had a big kid playing on it yesterday. You can see Superintendent Thomas Parker learning the ropes at the playground. Parker and a bunch of students made their way to the top of the equipment and did a great job. Parker is the new superintendent for the district and later tweeted that he had to show the students the new superintendent can climb too. retweeted his tweet and said higher higher we want to see you go higher <laughs> i want to see what else he can do man the guy's right. got skills he does mad I'm skills very impressed. yeah yeah are you ready for national pancake day ah oh, it's been a minute since i've had pancakes but yes <laughs> now do you go pancakes or waffles if you're out for breakfast or at home french toast do French you toast i didn't Not give you that option, option but yes uh, but that's a good answer <laughs> uh pancakes matt for me plain no fruit no whipped cream plain with syrup and butter please that's it mm -hmm. wow you really had that down <laughs> yeah well because we discussed it we discussed this a lot so <laughs> about uh, 15 years or so <laughs> <laughs> and matt you um i would go waffles over pancakes mm. okay but no syrup just butter no mm -hmm. syrup no, I, I, uh, I can't do the syrup. Oh, we're going to have to talk. Yeah. <laughs> it goes back to his college days. It does. Where my, quickly, my uh, roommate or my housemate put syrup on his ice cream. Uh, I mean, come on. Is an ice cream sweet enough without syrup? I think so. But pancakes aren't, and waffles aren't. True, but I just, I, I couldn't do it anymore. Yeah. And I went to school in Vermont. I was just going to say, weren't you in Vermont? <laughs> yes. Uh, so I used to love syrup. <laughs> Maybe I should dive back in. <laughs> Maybe it's time. I'm not scarred anymore.